Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynaut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. Last time we have been doing a few Witcher contracts and I've teased already what we're going to do today. Namely, another contract by the name of an elusive thief. Therefore, we need to go to this smaller marketplace in Novigrad and speak to a man by the name of Sylvester Amalo. I think that's a really nice name. Oh, and we need to be here by day, so I'm gonna... Hello, shady individual. I'm gonna meditate over here next to these guards and this... Uh, this lovely drunken man. Bump! Okay, he's not bumping. Okay, never mind. So, 9 o'clock in the morning. Sylvester should be here, and he was making weird poses and he's selling fish apparently hello sir greetings master greetings to you too hear about the contract really got an imp problem or is that just an imp perfection in the notice <laughs> you ought <laughs> not yes master witcher i know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales yet i saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall well with that hat it could be hard to see if it's an imp or not. Okay, how did it look? All right, so what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. Is that what an imp looks like? I've been misinformed. Okay, what did he steal? Fish? What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then fish. apples might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. Oh, so, poor man. Will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? If it is an imp. Haha, <laughs> let's haggle. Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. And damn right we do. So, I'm gonna start high again. Maybe 300 this time. I'm feeling lucky. That much? Surely you jest, sir. Okay. Let's go all the way down to 170. A bit much, but a compromise is in sight. Okay then, 265. A bit. Okay. 255. A Okay, I'm not gonna take the risk and just ask the price. Find the gift on your part, master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. I still think it's weird I can't use Axie to manipulate his mind before we haggle, but hey. We'll do it. Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, <laughs> and so on and so on. As long as, you, as it Master contributes Witcher. to our economy, I don't I'm know if happy. This will be of use, but most recently, the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Okay, then. That's a nice first hint. So there should be something over here, then. Okay. Merchant was right. Actually, does look like a giant cat. That doesn't bode well, now does it? So we jumped over here. Okay then. And then what? It stopped. Or do I need to examine this one here? Oh no, over there. Bye, Mr. Guard. What? Looks um, like the imp dropped some loot. What is it? Another track. And then a claw mark on the wall. Holy shit! A new rise takes. You're a bigger rag picker than me. Uh I'm not liking what this looks like. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Okay, according to the map, there should be water beneath me, so... A quick save, and then... There we go! Okay. 
And then it crawled out of the water here. Wait, what? It changed from a cat to human? Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? <laughs> well, that's a modern reference. Doors wide open. Interesting. Hello? I would knock, but it doesn't give me a prompt for that. Um. Eternal fire shield. Oh, and there's a note on the table. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Well, it start, it's starting to look like a topper or some kind of shapeshifter. But the note. Jan, please cut, that, cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise, but the giant cat will tend to stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other safer form like I did? I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now and no one's better than I. And such earnings. You wouldn't need to steal anymore. So how'll it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word for you with the King of Beggars. Till our next writing, Lewis. First post scriptum. Burn this letter once you've read it, alright? Second one. Yes, yes, I know, I'm paranoid, but humor me and burn it. And then the third one. If I find this letter next time I come see you, you owe me a beer. So, uh... A think that, Yeah. Explains a lot. And Thank you, complicates Geralt. matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Yeah, indeed. Maybe I can loot this place, so give me a second. So aside from some interesting loot, there are also clothes on the ground next to his bed. A man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. Okay, there we go again. A scent trail this time. What the... Okay, don't know why it's in the sky here, but... Maybe it took a jump. So that kind of also confirms that Dopplers don't need a human form to change well, into. Around, eh? It can also why take the form anyone? of anything, apparently. Okay, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. That's all I have. I had a loaf of bread too, but I dropped it. Decided not to go back. Wise choice. If anything happened to you, we'd go hungry. So are those two Dopplers then? If I know anything about Dopplers, I need to save my game for when one of those changes into me. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having And we a found that chat. shield in his house. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. Well... <laughs> and those dwarves passing by in the background. <laughs> You're a terrible actor. That was some pretty bad acting. And there they go we'll again. Explore other career options. <laughs> Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. Then I there they're still Doppler going. And a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. Holy sh shit, <sighs> that one fast. Always the same old shit. Well, he hey, put a contract wait. out on you because... You changed into a big cat and he thought there was a monster. I'm grabbing him. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Oh, fuck. There we go. Knew that was gonna happen. Damn, I look old. Quinn because it's way stronger than his one apparently. 
<laughs> are those those two dwarves from back there? Oh, he can do that too. Right. So they even gain the uh, coin abilities. <laughs> well, that was. Don't gloat, you dumbass. So parrying is a really good option next to using the coin sign deliberately. Might be able to look like a witcher. That will make you fight like one. That was you fast. Your skin's enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. So <laughs> those fucking dwarves. <laughs> Hi fellas. Hi. Goodbye. Okay. Spare you in return for a favor. Okay then. I'll spare you, but you gotta help me in return. I need you to assume someone's form, Caleb Mengas. I need you to sail to Temple Isle and... What? I'll not do it. I'd never do it. You might as well kill me now. Save me the torture Menga would put me through. Menga is dead. Fine. Never mind. Just stop stealing, or I'll torture you myself. Now get lost. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Doppler. He didn't do all that bad in that fight. But hey, now let's get back to uh, Sylvester Amello. And I don't know what we're gonna tell him, okay? I hope that wasn't stealing. Always X. Everything is X. Talking is X. Picking something up is X. Sprinting is X. There are other buttons on this controller, you know? Okay, Sylvester. Greetings, master. Job's done. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. Then how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more. And I'll not do business with you again. We have been getting a bad reputation on that part. But hey, too bad the Doppler wouldn't take uh, Dudu's place. The Doppler effect, apparently, that was uh, worth a trophy. Trophy! Okay. Let's see what else we can do. So, the next thing we're gonna do is revisit the house that was haunted, where we found, uh, where we met Corinne Tilly, the only romancer, and where Sarah now lives, and apparently Mr. De Jong here did sell the house to someone else. So let's see if there are any problems around here. Okay then, that doesn't sound like a problem. Oh, that's Kareem. Witcher, Witcher. Hey, Sarah. Kareem, look who's come. Hello, Kareem. Live here together now. Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares. I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. <laughs> I gotta love her. To find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. So that gave us a nice ending to that uh, Novgrad Dreaming quest. 
So Corrine and Sarah are now living happily together. How lovely. Okay, ladies, I'll let you to it. So yeah, I didn't know that was gonna be that short, so I'm gonna have to find something else to do. So if you remember the episode where we helped uh, Rosa Varatra with her fencing lessons, we also came across a dwarf which just... who was attacked and lost some important documents. So we're gonna see where Mugs the dwarf was attacked and find out where we where those documents have gone. So see you in a second at the site of the attack. So on the same bridge where we fought Rosa for the second time, we can find a clue Water apparently. Moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Mugs was attacked here. So that's the dwarven spirit we've been finding finding all over the place. So there's a scent again. Again, really hard to see sometimes. When it's as bright as it is right now. But we'll find it anyway. Because it seems to just lead to this house over here. Mister, why are your eyes so strange? Because I'm a kitty cat. Okay, hello, sir. Gerd. Hand over the documents, thief. Me, a thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how oh. Muggs sees it. Okay. Claims he was mugged. <laughs> Lost. But then... Demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. That seems to be what happened since we found that dwarf and spirit bottle and a bit of blood. I'll play you for them. That's interesting, but since the quest only goes. Hmm, maybe we need to ask what those documents are about. How much are they worth to you? I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of ass white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. Okay, since you won't give it to me friendly, so I'll have to use Axie. Give me the papers. You have to. True. Definite. And a bit of experience always handy. I kind of feel bad though, since he must have actually won that. Maybe I'll we'll check out the notice board here as well. Okay. Wanted. Cradle. Used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Who writes these notices? Okay. That's the first time that happened when I interacted with a notice board. Any bloke willing to kill a monster, at which it would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, swatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen Estate. Ask for Olgaard von Everek. He's oh, the that's the start of the DLC, I think. So, sorry about that one, but we're going to keep that in. Uh, buh, buh, buh. No monster in the sewers, so that we're gonna take, and that's it. Then. So yeah, evil's soft first touches. That's the DLC quest for Hearts of Stone. So I'm gonna keep that for later on. And now we'll. Put, uh, bring the documents back to mugs because we're way under leveled for starting uh, Hearts of Stone but I'm gonna do that in my let's play I'm not gonna forget about that and uh, I'll probably be still working on this let's play when uh, Blood and Wine comes out the, the next it's released the next uh, DLC I think the last one so I'm not gonna miss I'm gonna try at least to not miss anything. So, back to mugs. Hello, mugs. Well? Hmm. I know who 
robbed you, between parentheses. I found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. Hmm. You're lying. The documents belong to me, employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. Yep. Well, what was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. I haven't had a gumption. That's even weirder English than mine. Here, well, we got them. Now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. Okay, and what would have that would that have been? It's complete. What did I get? What did I get? One experience point. Because uh it's a level two quest, but not that there was any combat involved but hey so and with that i'm gonna take a little break so uh, if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and as always if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of this series and any other series thank you guys enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye